hello and welcome to let's play all games and welcome back to motorsport manager we will be starting season 7 and yeah i took a bit of a break and now we head over to doha so let's see i think we've sorted everything and we had some work being done on the car yeah uh, so we are getting the engine okay so nothing has really been mm, yeah it won't be We'll have to stop for repairs basically so that's sort of expected for the first race now we usually tend to do well in the first race and uh, we'll have to go with fifth or above because we've never won this we have come second last year but that is about it so what happened with the oh yeah so we still have the we only need uh, our car is better on tire wear this year. He's unhappy about something. Uh, why is he grumpy? Huh? We have the identical car. Okay, which one is Christian? Okay, then how about now? Still angry? He is the number one driver, so he wants everything to be better i suppose uh i mean buddy what am i supposed to do it's just the reliability that's slightly worse off i've given you the best parts i don't care man you have to be more reasonable than that be angry what the hell even the more reliable parts are with you Yeah, he is a bit of a diva. He's never happy. Hmm. Maybe because we offered him number one status, he is a bit more grumpy. Anyway, let's see. Hopefully that doesn't affect his performance. He might refuse to sign a contract, but that's probably at the end of the year so we probably don't need to worry about these things right now so on to Doha let's see if we remember the setup oh yeah there's a new girl okay we'll just use the standard guys and uh, yeah Cristiano is good with feedback so we'll go high on the downforce because I think we need downforce here now this is something I never figure out the handling so do we go short understeer we need more response from the car so I think handling has to be on the understeer side no I think it should be on the oversteer side trying to figure this out sharp corners so probably need oversteer they want uh, the car to turn in quickly and probably shorter on the gearing as well probably not too short now let's see how many laps you can get we have one of the best cars as far as tire wear is concerned so 18 to 20 here 13 to 15 here 9 to 11 here uh 28 laps okay we'll have to do some on the hard tire okay so high downforce oversteer and shorter gearing okay he might get more yeah 20 to 22 15 to 70 he might be able to do two stints on the medium actually we won't be able to push much we'll go medium i mean hard and if he can do a really long stint then we can even go on the soft tire see if he can do 17 we can go on the soft okay let's head to practice as always i put the links for all three uh, sessions in the timestamps and the description i mean i mean uh, the description and the comments so you can skip practice if you like and head straight to quali or the race okay race stint first
Car looks weird from above. Sort of half and half. Okay, perfect gear ratios. I'm really happy with the gear ratios, okay. Oh yeah, this is his first weekend actually driving the car. I mean, he's been a reserve for several years now. Too long, probably. Okay, arrow is great. Also, this is a shorter qualifying thing, so a longer lap here means we can't really do two, two attempts. Okay, handling isn't responsive enough. I would think responsive would mean oversteer, but apparently it means understeer. Too much roll. Too soft. Okay, he's saying the suspension is too soft. Okay, finish your four laps and then come in. So we are okay with the downforce and the gearing. We just need to sort out the handling and I think we have we have to go the other way. Okay, it's the Rossinis that are fast again. No surprises there. We have a Rossini engine, so. Okay, one more lap and then they should come in. I don't know if we can get to level 3 on the quali. Yeah, we may not be able to get to level 3. As long as we get to level 3 on the race setup, I'll be happy with say level 2 on the quali. Some people working on the soft. Okay, they must be doing the quali and only a few people, only 2 on the medium. Okay, we've hit level 3 and Surikov should be close. Okay, so great on the speed balance. Downforce is only okay, I think. Good. My handling is okay. So, we'll go a bit more on the downforce. Handling, he said, it needs more response. So, harder suspension is what he meant. Somewhere in the middle. And gearing, we go about here. Okay, I hope this is better. So, Rikov, now go and do some laps on the soft tire. So he has excellent gearing. I think we went too short with Surikov. And he's also happy with the downforce. Handling is once again bad. So we may have to bring back Surikov. Why we won't bring him back? Okay, about here should be good. And gearing is excellent, so we don't need to mess that. And downforce probably a bit less. Or maybe a bit more. Let's do this. Let's see what he has to say. Anyway, so do the... Now the third driver, we're just there saving money. We're not even using the third driver. Is there even any point having a third driver? Why don't we just save the wages? Because realistically, we can run with two drivers only. We'll save a hundred grand. We'll have to pay money to fire her though. Okay. Okay, arrow is way better. Nice. Okay, good. Nice job with the handling, it's much better. Mm -hmm. 
Handling feels awesome right now. Much better. Okay, good, good. Seven and eight. Yeah, we won't be able to get much out of Kali. I mean, we won't be able to get level 3s, basically. Okay, arrow feels fantastic. Okay, gearing seems just right. Nice one. Okay, good. Downforce feels bang on, so everything's according to plan. I'm not convinced we'll have like many excellence. We still probably need to go out and do something. And I don't think there's enough time to do that. Yeah. They'll be able to start another lap, but that's about it. This is the in lap, so. Yeah, they'll be able to come back in. Okay, nobody's starting a lap now, obviously. Few people are on their laps. And we are coming back in. Okay, Surikov is back. And two grades and an excellence. Okay, that's not bad. It's an excellent, yeah. We can't really get much because the lap here is longer. So, it's once again, it looks like the Steinmans and the Rossinis are way ahead of everybody. Then it's us and probably Panther and all those people. Itano. Okay. Wally. Obviously, Doha is always dry, so can't really expect anything unless they put sprinklers or something. Um, yeah, so Kali is only level 2 as unfortunately we thought. Oh yeah, he's the race driver. I forgot. I keep thinking where is Lundquist. So his handling is only good. Can we do something about that? Okay, it's only 93%. Um... Let's see what Surikov is up to. Surikov is a bit... Okay, so... It's about the same. We'll just bring it back a bit. Just a tiny bit, just to see if that helps. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's take first qualifying with Cristiano driving the car on... Buddy, first time, how does it feel? We'll wait a bit, we'll do one stint, let everybody go out and then we'll go towards the middle, hopefully when the track is clear. Yeah, main thing is trying to get these people out so we, we have a clear track so they're not, the laps are not compromised with people in front. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. We also need a lot of grip, so... Yeah, just... Don't want to be surprised by rain or something. Yeah, yeah, calm down, calm down. I'm trying to give you a clear track, guys. Okay, sorry call. Okay, we think this is a good time. So if you head out now, hopefully you'll be at the you'll be behind this lot coming out. No use in front. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, with Cristiano we have to get him out. Okay, I think now is a good time. Okay, we just need a clean track so they don't get their laps disturbed. So these people behind Cristiano, they are on their in laps. Yeah, we just don't want anybody coming out now. So there is Surikov starting his lap. 
Yep, clean, nobody in the way. Nice. Okay, some people coming out, so hopefully Cristiano doesn't face these people. Okay, some people going back in. Okay, this number 14 could be a problem, but otherwise... Yeah, no, just in time. So we got them in clean, clean air, basically. Okay, now you guys need to impress. He's not doing a good job here so far. Okay, Surikov has gone eight. Yeah, that wasn't good, Surikov. Okay, Cristiano, you are the last one setting a time. No, there's one more. No, Surikov, he's coming in. Nah, it's only 13. Okay, we seem to be terrible this year, apparently, because our pace is quite bad. Two and a half seconds off the pace. And nearly three seconds off the pace. Ooh, that's, that does not bode well for the rest of the season. Once again, it's Becker, DeGraff. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. We might be even worse this year, it seems. Okay. Hopefully, the reliability thing comes in handy again so we can get the jump on these people. Okay, so race day. Now I'm thinking is, since we go about half distance on the first stint, and then why don't we go on the soft tire? Because I think we can get like 14, 15 laps out of these, right? Yeah, we can get 12 to 13, and we can come in, repair stuff, and then maybe go on to the mediums. Surikov should be able to do that. And what about Cristiano? Let's go on the medium. I think medium makes more sense. We go on the medium, so we don't lose too many places. If we go on the hard, we'll end up losing a lot of places. We may still lose places, but we want to be ahead of people on the mediums. Because this is a early race, we'll have to stop for repairs anyway. We'll push for one lap, get heat into them and see how many laps we can get. Uh, in case we need the hard one for the next stint. So we'll go medium and then we'll go hard. That way we can go to the end with good tires. First stint, we need to keep position, hopefully. Come on, Surikov. No, these tires are not the right one, I think. Okay, they're dropping badly. See, everybody else on the softer tires has already passed him. Now, they need to hold on and not let people on the harder tires pass them. Parsani has jumped everyone. Okay, 10 and 13. Yeah, Surikov, don't let anybody on the harder tire get past you. Just Parsani ahead. Just get past Parsani. I think we'll be fine with that. Yeah, okay. Cristiano has actually gone past Surikov. Yeah, just get past Parsani. Okay, attempts are good. We can back off. Okay, that is not good. Come on. Fox is also on the same tire. And Persani is slow. So Cristiano is actually doing the right job. Surikov is just falling backwards. What the hell man? You are the experienced guy. He's down in 15. So this is completely messed it up. Now he's falling even further down. And don't let these people up. Come on. Push. You back up on the tires. Look at him, he's down in 16. Okay, he has jumped ahead up to 10th, so he's doing a good job. I'm happy with him. Surikov, I don't know what's gotten into him. Yeah, one of them tends to do bad and the other one is alright. So now he's suddenly in business.
Yeah, this is a bit different. I was comfortable with Lundquist and Surikov. Now I don't know what to do here. This guy is an unknown quantity right now. So back off on the fuel. And back off on the fuel. Maybe ease up on the tire a bit as well. Since he's not doing much, at least look after the tire. He's behind people on the slower tire. He's done exactly what I wanted, which was to stay right behind people on the softer tire. And ahead of everybody else. Because we are on the medium tire, we should be right behind the people on the soft tire. So this is perfect. Surikov on the other hand, I don't know what's gotten into him. Okay, push on the fuel. Push on the tire. Get past this guy. Flores. Is he past Flores yet? No. Yeah, I don't know. He's, he's... Yeah, his driving hasn't helped him here. See, even he's conserving his tires and still doing fine. Okay, push on the fuel. Okay, Surikov is also pushing on the fuel and he's still not getting past anybody. He's stuck behind Flores. Come on man, you're good at overtaking. Tires are now, okay now he's actually losing more places. Jesus, what's wrong with him today? The Cristiano has done a great job. He's comfortably ahead of the next car. The stars are good as well. In Surikov now is 15 seconds behind his teammates. So that has completely ruined our strategy. Yeah, he's down to 16. He's having issues. Okay. Push on the fuel. Yeah, he's making up excuses. So lap 10, he's complaining about... I think the front wing is the problem here. I think only front wing looks bad, otherwise it looks alright. So he's 10 seconds behind Hamilton. I don't remember which team Hamilton is these days. Is Surikov is still not able to do anything. He's further and further behind. Yeah, he's stuck behind people on the longer stint. Uh, Becker has pitted and he's charging now. We are looking after the tire. Yeah, I'm not judging him too harshly because this is his first race, so... He's doing a good job. Surikov is just not moving, simply just stuck. Yeah, this is infuriating. See, this is what was I was expecting. Now Cristiano is in second place. Easy second. And we can go another couple of laps, maybe one more. And then we can simply hit him and go to the end. Yeah, he's also complaining about tire wear. His tire wear is slightly better though. Okay, so we'll do one more lap. Okay, we'll pit him now. So we need another 15 after this, 16 including this. So we'll struggle to do that here. So we'll go on the hard tire so he can so we'll repair the front wing. And 26. Should we do the suspension? 
I think we can risk it with the suspension. Okay, Surikov can push on the fuel and push on the tire as well. Let's see if he can do anything because we need to keep him out for another couple of laps. Okay, Cristiano has done a great job so far. Quite happy with his performance so far. Okay, good pit stop needed here. Okay, thank you. And he comes out just in front. Okay, can push a bit. See, worked out brilliantly. He's a lap ahead of Surikov. A pit stop ahead, I mean. Okay, do we pit him now? Do we give him another lap? No, let's pit him. So we need another, so we'll give him the medium tire just to give him a bit of a chance. We'll have to repair the suspension as well. Yeah, I don't think his suspension will last. Okay, push Surika, push. Push into the pits. See, now he's overtaking. Um, yeah, push on the fuel. Tires are fine. Okay, you can ease up on the tire. Keep pushing. Now he's in an excellent position here. He should be able to jump the next two cars in front because they are all pitting. And if we don't have to pit again, he can get a comfortable fourth here. Unless. No, Flores is also going to pit soon. So these are all people who haven't pitted. They are all lap uh, pit stop behind. So if he can jump them from here. Okay, since he is... Come on, get past them if you can. Well, these guys might drag it for another couple of laps. Okay, they are not pitting. Come on. Get past them. Okay, one of them pitted, I think. Where is Surikov? Surikov is still not improving. Okay, I think this season might be even harder. I don't know what's into him today. Okay. okay I think this was just simply Surikov falling at the start and then getting stuck behind. A lot of people. No, it should be fine. Don't worry. He's up. Temps are fine. Okay, we might have problems getting the car to the end here. See, he'll finish fourth easy. Unless the... Now, if you want... I want is the front people, one of them, to have a problem. So... See, now he's up to 4. Costa is on the faster tire though. Hmm, Costa could be a problem. Okay, push on the fuel a bit and on the tire. Okay, push on the tire, sorry, Kof. If Surikov can finish in the top 10, I'll be happy. He's up to 11. No retirements for the first race. This is very weird. Okay, I don't think your parts need fixing, buddy. Okay. Keep going. I don't think we can manage with Surikov. Okay. I think a lot of parts are in trouble. Surikov already has the warning. No point dragging him. 
Okay, we'll put him on the soft and fix the gearbox and the rear wing. And the engine also needs work. Oh, I don't think we can make it. How is our reliability worse this year? Yeah, he's outside the points to begin with, so... It's just taking ages, come on, hurry. He hasn't dropped much, he was 12th, he's now 13th. Okay, nothing happened apparently. So now that you have the better tire, just push like hell. Now, with him, the problem is... It'll get worse. If he can do another two laps without us getting the red thingy, we will be fine. So do we need to push? We'll push on the fuel. We don't need to push on the tires. Okay, Bergman has retired. So he can actually get a second if he can hang on. His tires are better as well. Oh, no, 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 no. Wrong time. Now the question is, three people have retired, third is also in trouble. If we were to pit him, oh no, Surikov has engine problems now. See if we were to, hang on, hang on, let me think. If we pit him now, the graph will go ahead, Becker is 32, so we think we can still come out in front of Sharp. Maybe, if we don't take too long at the pits. Now the graph is also in trouble. Hecker is fine. Sharp is also in trouble. So, I don't think these guys are going to pit. I think we'll have to risk it with one of them and hope that he can get to the end. So, okay, ease up a bit on the fuel. And push on the tire because Becker is now much faster apparently. Okay, ease up on the tire, although I don't think it makes much difference. Okay, one is in the pits. Oh wow. Are we leading the race? Okay, but you keep pushing then. Because Becker is clearly faster. If the engine explodes now, it'll be heartbreaking. Should we push now? That's the problem. It's pushing the right idea. Yeah, I don't think he'll hold on anyway. Becker is going to get past some some point. Come on, Becker, come on man. Explode, explode. Okay, who is three? No, that was DeGraff, so Becker is the faster car. No, that is a back marker. Okay, maybe ease up, don't push then. 11%, 8%, I don't think we'll make it. How about low? I'm quite nervous right now. Okay, 2 who's 2, Becker. Okay, Becker will just breeze past. Push, push, push. Don't let Becker through. Just hit him or something. What if he passes on the last lap? I think that's probably what's going to happen. Oh, come on, man. You can do this. Hold on, Cristiano. This would be epic. Come on, buddy. Nearly there. Nearly there. Come on. Hold this guy. The tires will be fine. Don't worry. I'm not sure about everything else. Come on, my heart is pounding. Come on, 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 come on. Yes! How about that? And Surikov is also up to five. Come on, buddy. I wasn't paying attention to him, but 
What about that? Cristiano uh, not uh, not Ronaldo, but I don't know his name. He has won first race of the season. We have started with a win. Oh. So such a bad start with Surikov. And Surikov should have been ahead of him. This should have been Surikov's win. Cristiano Di Oeste has won his first race. So never mind. Bye bye Siri. He has just won his first race. How about that? This is better than we expected. I think we are fine on the strategy. And uh, I think the part reliability was worse this time. Because normally we got one or two warnings, say about two or three laps before the end. This time I think we got about five or six laps before the end. So, And we had to stop Surikov once to repair it anyway. Had we not done that, he would have been much higher too. I wonder. See, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ah, uh, yes. Surikov did not pick up a lot of points, but how about that? How about that? No, we did not make it look easy. But he did hold on to the lead even when Becker was on the fast tire. So that is to be applauded. Yeah, I was not expecting this when even on the last lap I thought the engine could explode or something the retirement was on the cards and if, even if it wasn't I was thinking maybe that guy would just pass him uh, yeah once again first race as we all know is notorious for unreliability people just look at the boss even he's happy unfortunately he's starting off from where he left off last year so his happiness is not going to change much So, let's see, Becker, Hamilton, Surikov. Ah, what a start, what a start, like even better start to the season. Although we could, maybe when we brought in Surikov, we should have repaired something else as well. I think his gearbox was the problem. Uh, had we done that, we would not have and he had the better parts all along okay so great great start to the season very happy and i'll come back and we'll start work on something some part and yeah so even better we have won the first race of the season now uh, we should do well in the next race as well i don't know if it's rains it does tend to rain so we have to use the same strategy and hope we can win this one as well because this is our only chance after like second race we struggle generally so as many points as possible at the start and hopefully we can hold on then so great start and hope you enjoyed it and we'll see each other in the next one